So with that said, let's get this party started! Coming to the ring, the big boys of boxing, representing Queensbury, Dynamite, Daniel Dubois! Coming out to Michael Jackson's bad, and as we said earlier, he's been a bad boy this week. He never uses profanity, but he's that amped up. He looks yoked, he looks jacked, and he has a lot of confidence after that last round stoppage against Terrell Big Baby Miller. Yeah, look, he suffered the good, the bad, the ugly. And the last performance was exactly what he needed. He needed his gut check, and he passed the test. There was question marks over it. So he can take a lot of confidence away from that. Going into this fight, like you said, the huge pot of gold for the winner here. He needs to show Philip Hergovic that he's matured now, he's a man now. Philip Hergovic has so, spoken quite often about that spa when Daniel Dubois was 17 years old. He needs to let Hergovic know the early stages in this contest that he's not, he's not the same boy, he's a man now. And now making his entrance to the ring, please welcome, representing Matchroom, El Animal, Philip Hergovi! Philip Hergovich sounded like Ivan Drago last night when I said, what's going to happen tomorrow? He goes, I will smash him. <laughs> He's not impressed by Dubois at all. He harkens back to a few years ago when they sparred together. He said, this guy's nowhere close to my level. It's not even going to be a contest. Yeah, I, I can understand why he feels that way, because what we have in Hergovich is a guy with so much natural talent that he has the potential to be a world champion. But he has to show it tonight. He has all that potential. We've shown glimpses of brilliance at times. But also, we've seen flaws in him. You know, with his work rate, his ethic at times, and sometimes his desire to want to really push through. Tonight, he, he shows us what he has in, in his locker. He shows us all those attributes I just mentioned. Then maybe he's destined for great things. I think that's the closest fan zone chart that we've had. 51% Hergovic. We're in the land of the heavyweights. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, how do you envision this fight looking? I think that we will see an improved Daniel Dubois, but I think the key here on both sides will be work rate. I think this is a battle of the jabs. It's the, the slick, faster jab of Hergovic, the more educated jab of Hergovic, to the strong, powerful, stepping, ramrod left hand of Dubois. Whoever can establish that jab, the quickest and the most dominant, I think wins the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Kingdom Arena, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, the five versus five competition continues. And it's all brought to you by Frank Warren for Queensbury Promotions and Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing, presented in conjunction with Riyadh Season, National Events Center, the General Entertainment Authority, Gold Star Promotions, and Sela. Special thanks to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, along with the Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority, His Excellency, Turkey Al Sheikh. This contest, sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, President Daryl Peoples, Supervisor from Australia, Ben Keelty, the three judges scoring, from England, Howard Foster. From the United States, Ron McNair and Patrick Morley. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, World Championship veteran referee from England, John Latham. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, 12 rounds of boxing for the interim IBF Heavyweight Championship of the World.
representing Queensbury Promotions and fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, official weight, 245.8 pounds, standing 6 feet 5, he comes to us from London, England with an outstanding record consisting of 22 fights, 20 victories, 19 of those 20 victories by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former WBA heavyweight world champion, Dynamite, Daniel And across the ring, representing matchroom boxing and fighting out of the red corner, wearing white, red and blue, standing six feet six and officially weighing in at 247.4 pounds. Since capturing an Olympic bronze medal, he now has a perfect professional record, consisting of 17 fights, 17 victories, 14 wins by knockout from Zagreb, Croatia, the IBF undefeated number one ranked heavyweight contender in the world, Philip El Animal Hegovi. Right, lads, you're not expecting your ball for obeying the instructions at all times. When I tell you to break, your ball break clean. Defend yourselves at all times and the best looks to your ball. Touch gloves. Daniel Dubois looks bigger and stronger than Anthony Joshua. Look at this guy's physique. <laughs> he is ripped and ready. A quiet, humble fighter. A stark contrast to Philip Hergovich, as cocky and as confident as one man could possibly be. He's 17-0, though, with 14 Round knockouts. One. And has a shot at the interim heavyweight championship of the world. It's Croatia versus England here in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Yeah, who's going to hold the center of the ring? Like Barry said, who's going to dominate behind the jab? Who's going to get in that rhythm first? This is a good positive start from Dubois. Confidence will be high after that middle victory. A good stepping jab there from Dubois. He's just got to make sure he opens up that right glove and catches the jab of Hergovic when he's stepping forward. Need the stoppage. Matrams, they need the two points on the board. Yep. A points win isn't enough. It will be for Hergovic's career, but not for Matrams. Hopes and aspirations tonight. Not far off of that right hand there, Hergovic. Good job, that's a solid job from Dubai. It's just like a plank of wood hitting you in the face, isn't it? Yeah, he means business here. Good right hand, though. He took this thing out of the shot. Dubois just by taking the feet out of oh, range. Another one. The right cross is money so far for Hergovic. Hergovic oh. is going looking for that big right hand time and again. Oh, he's got him again. Took it well, though, Dubois. This is target practice with the right hand so far. This is not going three rounds. This, this is not going. This, this might not going to go around. Oh. Boy, Dubois is so aggressive here early. Yeah, he means business, but he's got to be careful. Walking onto these one twos from Philip Hergovic. The thing is, though, he might walk around the shot, but he has to go forward. Going back is worse. Than... Mike, that right hand just can't miss, can it? It can't, but he's eaten them so far, Dubois. And we're still in round one. He's been hit with about six clean, crisp right hands. Oh, and he landed one of his rooms. Somebody tell these guys it's a 12-rounder. <laughs> I don't think it's a 12-rounder. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, it's scheduled for 12. <laughs> oh, good jab from Dubois again. He needs to bring the feet in, Hergovic. When he throws up one, two. He needs to be careful throwing that lead uppercut as well. Get caught with his own right hand from Dubois. He's, he throws very smooth, doesn't he, Hergovic? There's not much, there's not loads of tell in the shot. Ooh. Took it well, though, Dubois again. 
Yeah, but you keep saying he took it well. We're, we're, we're still in the first round. How many, is he going to be taking him well in round six? A nice jab, timed perfectly for Dubois in an action-packed opening round. Well, put your legs out. Right. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Right. Listen to me now. Listen to me. Daniel. Daniel! Listen to me. Okay. Listen to me. Right. Listen. Double jabbing, okay? You're not double jabbing. I'm putting that left hand back up. You hear me? Do you hear me? Right. Who can land a bigger right hand? Dubois taking a few. Flush. But taking his feet out of range. There was one high on top of the head of Dubois. No one really Corners, trying to establish seconds. a jab, Corners. just trying to land the big shots. He made for an exciting opening round, though. Well, we saw scenes in the Dubois corner Seconds like we out. saw in the Fury Round corner two. here in this same ring two weeks ago with him listening to his dad outside the ring as his trainer was trying to talk to him. It's crazy, isn't it? Move your head down, move your head down. Move that right up. When there's that many voices in your ear, Darren, did do any of them ring true? Uh, for me, it was uh, two or three voices. Only one in the corner, though. That was Charlie Sims. Always one in the corner. Always one in the corner. Boy, they're right back at it as we look at our copy box statistics in round one. There's a right hand from Dubois. And a right hand from Hergovich. It's Rock'em Sock'em heavyweight robots so far. Defense is not on the menu. But this is what we want. That's hard to believe Dave Dubois is only 26 years old. Oh, again, he's taking them one. Too long. He was setting set the left hook, he just took too long to throw it. Too well. I swear, if you guys keep saying he's taking these well, I'm going to go crazy. And every time he gets hit, you guys, oh, he took that one, he took that one. Well, these well, big mouth people will get knocked out with these right yeah. hands. He's taking one for every year of his life. <laughs> That's the line of the night. That's you heard of these rattle of the combinations, though. They bring a left hook out to that right hand. Good jab there from Dubois, which feels like a power punch. Oh, that was like getting hit with a stun gun. His body went through a shock. And now a right hand for Dubois to left. He means business to Dubois. He really does. I tell you something, though. Pergovic took that well. <laughs> you son of a gun. Somebody's not going to take it well in a minute. I don't know who it's going to be. Again, Hergovic. You should be doing more work here, Hergovic, I think. That's the one, too. From Dubois. Good feet, yeah. Oh, yes. There's a nice work from Hergovic throwing more than one punch at a time. Dubois back it up for the first time and holds on. You know, Dubois did his legs just then and he did the right thing to roll into a shot and he just stopped. And then that's when he took that right hand. Yeah, the loose with the defense, you can hear the corner in Dubai's corner saying, hands tight. Oh, oh, use the jab, that's oh, better. See how effective the jab is. Oh, and again. Oh, and a left hand from Dubois. Say it, guys. But her, how did he, <laughs> but how he, he handle that? But he did, Todd, he did. Incredible oh, stuff. Cut to Hergovic. Listen, you gotta listen now. Yeah. I can't get in there with two of us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, I'll do it from here. You, you do good? It. You sure? Okay. Listen, all you gotta do is use the jab to keep shooting the straight right here. Every now and then that door. All right? Okay? Yeah. He's right in front of you. He's missing. Double the jab, right hand. Double the jab, right hand. We know up. Every now and then shoot the uppercut. Come on, man, be smart in there. That's your hands. A lovely right hand there from Hergovic. 
I think the referee said a clash of heads is what caused, oh, caused okay. the cut. Look at that, look at that yeah. ramrod jab there, there from, from, yeah. from Dubai. Corners, really 10 rocking. seconds. Corners. Look at his back his heels. And again, a lovely big strong right hand. He had a really good finish that round there to Daniel Dubai. Seconds out, round three. It's a good little fight this, you know. It's a great fight. I mean, we've had so many good ones tonight. <laughs> you heard Ronnie Shields on Hergovic. He's right there, jab, straight right hand. And Ergovic is not used to being forced to fight at this pace. Exactly like that is Mike. You can see him on Monday night in the Hotel de Bois on the pads with Don Charles and Kieran Farrell. And it was a lot of combination. It was high tempo on the pads. And you can see why in this contest, being aggressive, being busy. Has anyone thrown a body shot? No. Oh no, Hugs did show do an uppercut to the body in the last round. Didn't really hit too heavy though. Looks tired, isn't he, Hugovic, already? You would think Dubois might be the one that gets tired quicker since he's carrying so much muscle. But he's boxing at his pace though, Dubois, that's why. He's, he's, he's taking the initiative away, totally away here from Hugovic. Dubois' dad on the apron, screaming at his son. Oh, left hook for Hergovic, but he was vulnerable right there. Has to be careful. Dubois won 19 of his 20 fights by KO. Oh, I thought he was going to double the jab up then. Dubois, that's what he needs to do. He did that the, the last one, had success. Double the jab up, push him back with the double jab, then the right hand. He's got to bring his feet in there, Hergovic. Oh, good right hand, Dubois. And the blood coming out of the cut from Hergovic makes everything look even worse. Oh, there's a stiff right hand. Snaps the neck of Dubois and another one. He's walking through him. Every time Hergovic throws, he lands. So let your hands go a little bit more. You have a success. But you talked about him being tired, though, Baron. There's another one. It's like ringing a bell. Boy, this is heavyweight action. Just starting to get more leverage and rotation on the right hand now, Hergovic. Again, I still feel both of these could be trying to establish the jab more, but neglecting the shot. And that's what Ronnie Shields was asking for in the corner, Darren, for Hergovic. Very, very good. <laughs> yeah. It makes it so easy when you double jab it. You don't have to land those double jabs. Get your feet there to throw that right. Okay? Yeah. 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 All I want now is a tighter guard. Yeah? A tight guard. While you're moving your head, a tight guard, then throw a hook or a looping right. Put your back and go when you're in there. Put your blue chest and work in for you. Corners, 10 seconds. Corners. There's something Second in that blue corner. Round Three four. voices again. Just focus on the one in the middle. Isn't that what they say? Respect me, he's Don Charles, and that's the right guy. This is good from Dubois to start this fourth round. Four beautiful jabs, bringing his feet and just missing with the right hand. Good approach, though, in this fourth, though, from Dubois. There's a body shot. Kurgovic in the corner. 
Yeah, Richard Porter's on himself in many ways. He demands boxing well, but he, he just allows him to get close. He's too lazy. He doesn't throw enough punches. Did he overlook Daniel Dubois? I think this has been a trait throughout his career, to be honest, Tom. Shaili Zhang had him on the brink. A very controversial win in that fight for Hergovic. But he was, he was the busiest fighter in that fight. That's the madness of that. It's, it's not hard to be busier than Zhang. Oh, good right hand again for yeah. Hergovic. His confidence is borderline arrogance in the build-up to this, as if it was just going to happen. No respect for Dubois at all. On the flip side, was, I asked him yesterday, is this going to be the toughest test of your career? He said, no. <laughs> no. I'm going to smash him. And he might still. Oh. I've tried. Now, see, there, no. Why, why did he click into gear? No. Oh, good shot again. That left to the body was nice after the one, two. I don't think even Usyk landed this many punches on Dubois <laughs> as Hergovic has. But it seemed like at the end of that Jarrell Miller fight, he kind of found something that maybe he didn't even know he had. That, that dog in him. Yeah, well, because... Oh, big jab! Because in the past, Todd, when he's tired, that's when he's, that's when he's had to stop it as soon as he stopped. He's panicked when he's totally tired. But in the, in the Miller fight, he pushed through that. He's walked on to left hook, goes to Bois. Oh, shots. A good round here with How are we only in round four? <laughs> that blood is causing a lot of problems for Hergovic. You can't see those punches coming. And boy, are they coming. to bring his feet in there. Hergovic, when he throws out one, two. To be fair, to the back, he's, he is going for the jab. He steps up and takes the sting on the right hand from Hergovic. Oh, nice jab. It's coming close there. Dubois' head is like a bowling ball. Doing good, but, but everything you're doing, but go to the body. But keep your hands up high. Keep your hands up high when you go to the body. All right? The body is wide open for you now. Okay? I'm telling you. But look, double the jab, right hand. Bring the hook back behind it. And every time they faint him. Big deep breaths in both corners. 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 Feeling the pace, both landing big shots. You start to get a bit closer with that right hand. Getting full purchase on the shot. Hergovic, the jab, beautiful shot from D Dubois. I'd like to see more of that from the Londoner. Corners, again, 10 seconds. Score. Corners. Top left of the screen. Matram need the stoppage. Seconds out, round five. Not chewing his fingernails yet, but on the inside, you know, he's being torn apart. He knows what's on the line here. And Anthony Joshua sat next to Eddie Hurley, he might be putting the winner, possibly, in September. And talking of stoppages, that damage by the right eye of Ergovic was caused by a punch. I've just had it confirmed by Robert Smith of the Boxing Board of Control in charge of everything here tonight. Referee John Layton saying it was caused by a punch. All right, let's look at Chris Mannix's score card through four rounds. Two to two. That's how it feels, doesn't it? Can't argue with that. He's had a good night tonight, doesn't he, Chris? Good for a change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's sitting right behind you, Barry. Watch out. He might write a strongly worded letter to somebody. <laughs> oh, nice stiff jab. He walks onto that one, Hergovic. But back comes Hergovic with three jabs of his own. A couple jabs from Dubois. Hergovic's corner wanted him to go to the body. He hasn't done it yet. Oh, I love you. Look at that. Hergovic. Just as Dubai, he, he threw that right hand, Dubai, the right foot come with it, squared himself up, Hergovic made him pay. 
Every oh, there was a good one, and that was not handled well by Dubois. And the last for Cup Club. Now this should be a hope who's going to get the engine. If he has one, we haven't seen it for a long, a long time. A nice little rest there for Dubois, he needed that. Bergovic's body language isn't great. He looks exhausted. Oh, good body shot down the right hand there from Bergovic. Good bit of work. I feel the uh, footwork of the boys underrated. The way he manages to go out of range and take the sting out of the shots. Could the winner of this fight perhaps face? Anthony Joshua in September at Wembley. Trying to finish around strong here to buy this nice little one too. Good left hook from Dubois. No start from the feet as well. Blood continuing to drip in the right eye of Hergovic. Oh, he set that one up, double jab, boom! But you know what, you buy a fire back immediately. Oh, heads coming together. Oh, Hergovich almost walked into a right hand himself. Another action packed heavyweight round. Saturday, June the 22nd, live here on DAZN, it's Denny versus Cash, Felix Cash, 18 months out of the ring, taking on Tyler Denny in Birmingham, only on DAZN. And then on July the 6th, William Zapata, nobody throws more punches than that Mexican. He'll be on display, the buzzsaw, Saturday, July the 6th, taking on Giovanni Cabrera. Oh, the one-two from Hergovic. He took some real big shots in that round. Corners, bar, 10 kept seconds. Coming, kept Corners. Him on, his help on to Hergovic. See, all seconds rotation up. that right hand. Round six. Fires back with his own right hook. Who do you give the edge to right now, Barry, going forward? <laughs> I, th I think it's too bad, actually, because he's going to push it forward. He looks a bit tired, but Hergovic is absolutely shattered. But I do feel that Hercules can find a bit of energy and get some, some fluency in his work because he's nice and he's nice and smooth. But if he can throw in combination, he can have a bigger impact. We're not even halfway through the fight yet. It's gone longer than I thought it was gonna go after that first round. The really were committed to their shots. Nice little shot comes the right there from Hergovic off the ropes. El Animal, as he's known. I think it's going to be fatigue as much as power set with this now, isn't it? I think it's spot on there, Mike. The body shots from both have been completely neglected here. No one working the body, not even with the jab. Ooh, headshots from both. Yeah, that was a yeah. to the body. It's good for you, buddy. A little fake with the feet there. Let's check out our copy box numbers. These should be interesting. Hergovic, 58 round in power punches. It seems like it's closer than that. He's out landing by 27. Oh. Hogan's changing right hands there. Again, the feet of Dubois. Just taking this thing out of the shot. He fights back with his own right hand. Probably think some of these jabs from Dubois are polish shots as well. Does Hergovic have a cut over his left eye as well now? Tough to see, but it looks like he's got blood. 
Again, it looks like the heads crash on the inside. Well, Dubai does it. I think he tucks his chin when he, gives, when he comes in close. Finn again from Dubai. I think the body language as far as Finn is concerned looks better for Dubai. And Hergovic is ahead, you feel, but he's the one who looks tired. Again, that footwork. Dubois, very impressive. Good work on Hergovic. Yeah, and he missed. He laid back and avoided the counter shot, too, from Dubois. So, so double jab from Dubois. Yeah, Dubois hasn't really gone to the body as much as you'd like to see. When you got a tired fighter in front of you, body shots add up even more. There's the MVP row, the who's who of boxing. Look at Eddie Hearn, looks like he's been sucking on a lemon. <laughs> He's a real character, Turkey. <laughs> Wonder if he did some amateur boxing back in the day. Yeah. So, we were talking about how tired Hergovic looked, but Dubois looked really hard in that round. And he, and, he, and he had a good round, but I wonder how much that would have took out of him for yeah. this round now. And is Ergovic one of those like Derek Chisora, who always oh. looks like he's ready to go? <laughs> he's outside. Corners, 10 seconds. Corners. Off his stall early, Dubois. Good body language again. Seconds out. His answer Round to almost seven. every question this week was, wait until Saturday night, you'll see. Just wait until Saturday night. And so far, he's been very good. Well, not too many thought this would go into the second half of the fight. And yeah, there is a cut. Over the left eye and right eye now, Hergovic. Who said he would smash Dubois. But right now, he's been on the receiving end of some hellacious shots. And even if Hergovic wins this fight, you wonder if those cuts will heal in time for him to possibly face Joshua in September. Very good point, but say something now, he, he looks exhausted. Absolutely shattered. Yeah. Well, he's only got six rounds to go, so. <laughs> An impressive performance from Daniel Dubois, who just seems to be able to outlast Hergovic at this point. And look at this moment! That short little whipping right hand that he threw there to Bob was fantastic. Yeah, really fast reaction. He looks fit, he looks strong, he's aggressive, he's going for the finish here. Did Hergovic do the work in the gym or did he overlook Daniel Dubois? That fight against Miller has just done Dubois the world of good. It's exactly what he needed. And I think how competitive that people said he was against Uzik as well. I think that even though he, he lost it, I think that, that gave him a bit of confidence that he could compete. Even though he did lose against a world class fighter, the best heavyweight on the planet. How do you think Dubois would do against AJ? Maybe he gets the golden ticket this summer. i tell you what, this, this is a big, big round. Oh, big shot! A colossal right hand for Dubois! Still 50 seconds to go. He's spent. Hogovic is spent. These last two rounds, Dubois has worked so hard, and he's, and he's reaped the benefits from that. And then a left hook. Oh, oh man! Hergovic being chopped up like minced meat right now from Dubois. But as, as we showed about Dubois earlier, showing a really good chin here, Hergovic, because he is tired. Still standing! What a right hand from Daniel Dubois, huge shot! 
And the referee warning Dubois about the head. But Hergovic will take this breather. Oh, and he caught it again! And that'll do it for the round! And Hergovic is stumbling back to his corner! He doesn't know where he is! Saved by the bell. Yes, sir, fella. If you don't hear the fight away, you should have fought. Come on, man. You're a better fighter than this. Let's go to work in war. Yes, sir. Stay in the middle of the ring and fight. That's all you got to do. Hey, Jesse's up there, man. You need to jab yeah, in the middle of the ring. Okay? Jesse, you need to jab in the middle of the ring. I need you in the middle of the ring using that jab. Kick them hands up. You understand me? Yeah. Kick your hands up. That was a fantastic round for Dubai. He worked from the bell to bell. And for the heavyweight, that's fantastic, that's amazing. And for a heavyweight in a fight Call of this 10 pace, seconds. how Call much he's taken and how much he's delivered. That's the, very, very smart. He's thrown more punches in the last two rounds than I've seen most Second heavyweights out, in a 12-round round fight. Eight. If that round was 10 seconds longer, I'm not sure Hergovich is still in this fight. This is very close to becoming 8-0 Queensbury. I tell you how Hergovic's response to this might define his career. Yeah. Even if he loses, but if he fights back here, if he finds something, a bit of energy to have a little go. But if he doesn't, and he thinks he just walks around and gets beat in a submissive manner, he won't be looked upon the same again. Hergovic's shorts are red and white, and not just because of the Croatian flag. He's bleeding profusely from two cuts on his face as Dubois continues to hammer away. And the damage to the left side doesn't look good for Hergovic, and he can't see these right hands coming. Well, Dubois said when he was taunted about that sparring session by Ergovic that he's a different animal now and how he's shown it tonight and how Ergovic has felt it. He looks a different fighter, doesn't he? I think the, the doctor's going to take a look at these cuts. has just produced the performance of his career. Unbelievable, Barry. He was fantastic from the first round to the last. But those last two rounds, at this stage of a fight, as Mike said, in, in a fight of this magnitude, were absolutely world-class. That was amazing, that was. For a young man who's had loads of criticism, being be villainized for the way he quit against, against Joe Joyce, the way he's come back and rebuilt himself to the machine he was tonight, is fantastic. And Frank Warren is $3 million richer, and he can see it all over his face. And poor Eddie Hearn. I, I would love to see the scenes backstage in the dressing room, just knowing that they are $3 million better off. That's going to be a healthy split between... I, th I think it, it was the promoter's three million. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got, he's got to sprinkle that around. Uh, Maybe give a, a little bit extra to Daniel Dubois, who certainly looked dynamite tonight. And we've seen four fights now. Three of the favourites with the bookmakers have been beaten. And that's the joy of a concept like this, where everybody's been talking about them as 50-50 fights. That's what we've been seeing four times over. That was a cracking heavyweight fight. That really was. Brilliant oh. fight. We're one, one fight away from potentially this being a whitewash. Well, Daniel Dubois, who bounced back. Oh, here's the wave off here. The referee saying, look, this guy is done. And I've caught a glimpse of the cut. Hergovic right by us, and it doesn't look great. Yeah, the, the, the one on the right, though, is nasty, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Diagonal, it's diagonal, it's deep. Frank Warren looks like he just won the <laughs> Champions League today. But you know what? More than just the competition, he knows that he, you know, he, he better than Dubai. He took down Dubai as a, as a teenager. And he took, he's a teenager and said this guy's going to be a world champion and he's been through trials and tribulations but tonight he showed that potential 
And here's Frank Warren over here barking in our face, telling us how great he and his team are. And it's hard to argue with him. They've been picture perfect tonight. Yeah, they really have. And, li and listen to the song. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> but what, what, what we might have now in London, two, one from Watford, one from London, contesting a heavy championship of the world. Does, does that fight sell out Wembley? Oh, yes. How many times over? Yeah. You know, after losing to Usyk, and many people said he quit. They said he had no heart. He did Look quit. what he's done since then. Blasted out Miller in the 12th round and dominated a guy that we expected to perhaps crush him. I Maybe because of the criticism. He's wanted to rebuild his reputation. Michael Buffer makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Kingdom Arena, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, the end comes at 57 seconds into round number eight. As the ringside physician okay. advises referee John Lathan to call a halt to the bout because of cuts, the winner by TKO victory, and now the IBF interim heavyweight world champion, he is Dynamite Daniel Dubois! So, Daniel Dubois now 21 wins, 20 knockouts. Anthony Joshua was sitting ringside, Mike, as close as you could get. What do you think he feels about Dubois in a possible showdown? No, he knows what Dubois will bring to the ring, and he also knows that that is the best performance of Daniel Dubois's career. A very different proposition, I'd suspect, to what he thought he might be facing if it was going to be Dubois before that fight started. Well, on July 13th, it's a homecoming, and it is his own debut for Jared Boots Ennis as he faces off against Cody Crowley for the vacant IBF World Welterweight title from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Well, 